Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all 50 of my custom FNAF figures that I've made over the past couple of years. And yeah, so there's like about 50 customs here and I'm going to be showing you all of them, starting with Red Bear and ending with my Rockstar figures over here. And so yeah, I'm going to be doing from oldest to newest. And so yeah, let's get on with the video and start with Red Bear. But yeah, I have all these customs I'll show you guys today. So Red Bear is my oldest custom and my first custom that I've made. I made him in a, like 2018, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, so he's my oldest custom I've made. And I guess I should bring Tangle uh, in the same part as well, since I kind of made these in two in like the same week. And yeah, so these are my first customs. Red Bear is missing one of his hands and this one, the joint just broke off. But yeah, these are really cool customs. I like them. Um, I did like do a different, like a repaint on them, like, not a full repaint, but I just repainted Red Bear's like bo main body color because it was chipping off and it just looked like regular FNAF one Freddy. And then same with Tangle, I just repainted the white paint on her. So they're still, they still have the same paint job and yeah, so that's it for them. For my third custom that I ever made, I made, I made Vanny in 2021, I'm pretty, no, it was 2022. And yeah, I made her in the beginning of the year, like in February. And she took me about three to four days to make. So yeah, uh, she took quite a lot of time to make. It was very hard, but I think she came out really good. Uh, the clay on her mouth is like chipping off now because it's like two years old. So yeah, and then of course I made her like paws and stuff, which are also kind of falling off. Well, this one is fine, but on the other hand, it's kind of just falling off. But yeah, I think this came out really good looking. Uh, it did take me a long time to do, but this is like when I started going into making custom figures more. Then I made Toxic Springtrap and Grim Foxy. These are my fourth and fifth customs. I made them the same day and this guy was my first video on my channel. So that's cool. And then Grim Foxy was like my second, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I really like how these two came out, especially Grim Foxy, I really like this one. But yeah, I, I think these came out pretty cool. And I made them in 2022 of August. Then I made Shadow Freddy, just using like the FNAF 1 Freddy figure that I had. Kind of regret I didn't because it was 2016, but uh, I did not know that back then. But yeah, I think he came out pretty cool looking. Uh, definitely not the best custom I've made, but he's, he's, he's all right. Next up, we have Clown Springtrap. He was my first custom that I made in 2023. As you can see, he's looking really rough right now, but before he actually, when I first made him, he actually looked way better. And I still think he holds up to this day. I still think he looks really cool. Next, we have Jack O'Bonnie. Now, this one I don't really, I'm not really a fan of because he's just super messy, I feel like. Um, because I had to do so much coats of paint on him and I was kind of lacking the experience of customs back then. And I, I, I really did rush this guy. I like made him in one day. Which, like, now I can make, I made these two in like one day. But it's like back then I could not do it that well. So, yeah, I kind of rushed him. So he didn't turn out that good. But I still kind of like him. Then I made Flaming Springtrap from FNAF AR. I think he came out really good. I am very proud of this one, and I, I was back then too when I first made him. I was like, wow, this guy came out really good. He's like, and he used to be in my top four best FNAF customs I've made. And I just really like how he came out, and I think I really captured how he looks like in a figure. So I think I did a really good job on this one. I really like him. Also, it's funny because his fingers burnt off. Uh, don't ask how. <laughs> his fingers got burnt off. I'm like, Wait, this will be the perfect figure to make a flaming spring trap now. Because, you know, what else am I going to do with a tie-dye spring trap that's been burned? Okay, then I made the Shattered Animatronics from FNAF Security Breach. And I kind of made these all in like the same two weeks. So that's why I'm just doing them all in like one separate thing right now. But I think I made Roxanne Wolf first. And then Glamrock Chica. And then Montgomery Gator. So yeah, I think they all came out really good. I made them with bootlegs. You can go watch the videos on them. Oh yeah, by the way, I have videos on all these videos. Whoa, okay. I have videos on all of these figures. So if you want to learn how I made them, and I do have tutorials on them as well, so you can just check my channel for those. But yeah, I'm not really a fan of Glamrock Chica. So he's definitely the worst one. But Montgomery Gator is definitely the best one that I made. He looks really cool, honestly. I think he came out great. Roxanne Wolf is kind of in between. She doesn't look the best, honestly. And I kind of just rushed her, so she's not that good. Okay, then I made Scorching Chica from FNAF AR. Now, this one is pretty cool looking. When I first made it, I thought it looked great, but now, eh, she's kind of, I don't, I don't really know. She's not the best looking, especially since a bunch of her paint was chipping off. 
but it's okay because uh, it's a tie-dye chica that I used, and tie-dye chica is already orange and like yellow, so like all these cracks honestly just make the figure kind of look a bit better, in my opinion, so I think they all kind of turn out good. But yeah, I really like how this one came out, honestly. I still think it's a pretty simple custom. I like it. Now, to go with my Red Bear and Tangle figures, I made a White Rabbit figure, and of course, he was from FNAF World as well as uh, Red Bear and Tangle. And so yeah, that's the only reason why I made him. I regret doing it now because there's a bunch of other figures I could have made that would be a lot cooler than White Rabbit, but eh, it's okay. But yeah, I think he came out pretty cool looking. He is definitely a bit messy because of all the white paint, so I'm not that proud of that. Then I made Black Heart Bonnie. Now this one is honestly one of my worst customs, if not my worst custom. Actually, I don't know if he's my worst custom. There's probably worse ones than this, but I don't know. He might just be, I mean, look at, yeah, he did not come out that good, honestly. Um, at the time, he was a lot better looking though because his paint wasn't chipping off, but I still think he's okay. Okay, then I made Withered Bonnie. Now I made Withered Bonnie a lot earlier before this. I made him honestly right before I made Shadow Freddy. So he's a really old custom, it's just um, at the, the time thing that I'm doing right now. I did repaint him. So yeah, and this is the version of his repainted one, which still doesn't look that good, com especially compared to my other Withered figures. So yeah, but I still like him. I still like him though. I still think he came out pretty cool looking and yeah. Now I did make a Glamrock Bonnie figure after Withered Bonnie, but I used him for a bunch of spare parts, so I'm not gonna really show him anymore. But I do have him, so it's just his torso and head though. Okay, anyways though, we have Mute D not DJ Music Man, we just have regular Music Man from FNAF 6. Here he is. I think he came out really good, honestly. I really like him. It's just I really wish I was better on like applying the paint because I did not do that good of a job on applying the paint. Uh, but that's really all my, my only to pick, and yeah, I did use a, a bootleg figure for this, by the way. Next, I have Bon from the Walton Files, and I really like how I made this figure. I think it came out amazing, um, and also when I made this video, it was like the first time I got an editing software, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, um, I think he came out really good. I think he looks really accurate to how he does in the Walton Files, and I'm very proud of him. Although his joints are a bit loose, and no, please don't read my comments saying, this is how you fix them. I know how to fix them. I just don't really care about fixing this ones because it's a bootleg, so they're always gonna be loose. Now you might be wondering why Chester, I think is what his name is. Honestly, I don't remember. He's some friends at Candies. But uh, why he's like laying on the ground over here. I don't know, but his joints are really loose as well because he's a bootleg. I'm not gonna fix them. Don't read my comments, please. I know how to fix them. But anyways, uh, yeah. He's, he's kind of broken, I guess you could say. Because his arms, I do not know where they are. I'm just kidding. I do know where they are, but they always fall off. There's no point. But honestly, I think he came out really good. I, uh, I do like how I made him, it's just he doesn't remind me of kind of how he looks like in the game. I think I made him a bit too detailed and like realistic instead of making him look like an actual toy animatronic, but yeah. Then I made my Spring Bonnie, Spring Bonnie figure. Um, I think he, this one is really good, it's definitely one of my favorite customs, not because it looks good, just definitely one of my favorite ones. Um, I think he came out really cool, and he was the first short that I made, so that's pretty cool. I really like how he came out, um, I think I did a really good job on him, definitely a detailed uh, custom figure, I really like how I repainted him. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you all 50 of my custom FNAF figures that I've made over the past couple of years, and yeah, so there's like about 50 customs here, and I'm going to be showing you all of them, starting with Red Bear and ending with my Rockstar figures over here. And so yeah, I'm going to be doing from oldest to newest. And so yeah, let's get on to the video and start with Red Bear. Then we got Shaw the Se Sheep from Walton Files as well. Decided to make her because I did make Bond, and I really like this custom. Uh, I think it came out amazing. Again, the limbs are a bit loose, but I fixed it because I just glued them on because they kept cracking. But yeah, I think she came out really good. I definitely made like the paint job on this one, super cool. Um, and also it's like the paint job on it isn't super like clumpy too and stuff like how it was on a lot of my other figures where like there would be a texture of the paint on it. This one, it kept the same texture of the figures, just kind of just colored it, so that's cool. Um, I think it came out really cool. Then I made Burn Trap from FNAF Security Breach. 
and this guy was my first custom that I used a Dremel on and the Dremel has helped me in so much custom so far well just like ones where like I have to get them withering and stuff it's helped me so much uh, so it's a huge help to uh, use the Dremel so when I got this guy um, I decided to just make him into burn trap and he was like I spent I made him in one day believe it or not I, I used I made him using a tie-dye spring trap and I made him in one day it did take me 10 hours though straight so I worked on him for 10 hours continuously uh, it's very hard and I think he came out really cool also he does have glow in the dark eyes by the way but yeah this is my first figure that I used to Dremel on and that uh, yeah when I made him I just wanted to make him as best as I could I was like, you know what, let's try making him as best as I can. So I did, I think he came out really cool looking. It's definitely one of my best customs I've made. Then I made Withered Foxy now. Uh, he's my first custom that I used a Dremel on. Okay, well, not necessarily a Dremel, but it was something close to a Dremel. But I guess Burn Trap is the one that I used my first Dremel on. But yeah, this guy, the, um, I think he came out pretty cool looking. He does, he does look like a Withered Foxy. I think he came out really cool, I just don't know what I did with his eye patch. And yes, I don't know where his ear is at all, I don't know what, what happened to it. I do like how I made his endoskeleton feet and stuff, overall I think he came out pretty cool. Okay, and after Burn Trap, I made Eclipse from FNAF Security Breach Ruin. And yeah, now that I think about it, Ruin came out quite a little while ago now. But anyways, I think he came out really cool looking, definitely, he I, he's my most popular video that I have. Because he gained 180 or no, 130,000 views on YouTube Shorts or something like that, somewhere in the 100,000s. Uh, not 100,000s, what am I saying? I don't know, but he got a lot of views on YouTube Shorts. And so he's my most viewed custom, so that's cool. Uh, he's definitely messy, but he's supposed to be. A bunch of people got mad at me for that. It's like, well, it's Eclipse from, he's a, it's like a, it's a broken sun and moon figure mixed into one. You can't mix two figures make him broken and dirty and expect him to not be messy i don't know i don't know what to say other than that like i, I, I just don't know what else to say but yeah i, I do like how the, he came out i just do not like how he can't stand okay then i made wither chica and i actually like how this came out i just i uh, don't know why i gave her eyebrows and i didn't paint her eyes so yeah i don't know why i did it but you in my if you guys don't think it's the best custom well, I'll show you a picture of what she used to look like. And yeah, she looked bad. She looked really bad. It was like a bootleg figure. So I'd say I did do it justice. Justice, I don't know what I'm saying. But I really wish I made a game accurate instead of whatever I made it. But yeah. Then we have Ruin Freddy. I think he came out really cool. Definitely one of my best customs. His hand is missing right now. Well, it's not missing. I have it. I just have to glue it back on. I just haven't found the time to do it. And yes, he has his gift box in there. He was a super hard custom to make. I mean, he took forever for me to make this guy. He was really hard to make, but I think he came out great. He came out amazing. I love this custom. Then we have Ruin, Roxanne, Wolf. And I also think this came out really good. Honestly, I think she's better than my Ruin Freddy. And she did, she was definitely harder, I feel like, actually. I don't know. I think that she was harder, but I don't really remember. But yeah. She is super detailed. I really like how she came out. Definitely one of my favorite customs. All right, then I made Nightmare Fredbear from FNAF Help Wanted or FNAF 4. I guess you could say FNAF Help Wanted because I used that as the reference. I think this one came out amazing. This is probably my most accurate figure that I've made. Just like the mold of it, at least. I just think it came out really good. I, I used the VR Toy Freddy for this, not Livewire, the VR version. So I had to sculpt this whole like eye area. And I think he came out amazing. He looks super cool. I really like him. All right, then I made all of the, these three, uh, the toy animatronics. I made them all in like the same day other than Toy Chica, but I'm just gonna put them in the same thing. But I made Toy Freddy and Toy Bonnie at the same day. But I think they all came out really cool looking. My only issue is that I did not sand them down because I didn't have sandpaper at the time. Now I do, it's just back then I didn't. So yeah, that's the problem. Also, she does have a beak I can put on. It's just like, I'd have to get like uh, wax and stuff and or, like clay or something like that and like stick it onto her mouth that way. But I, don't, I think they all came out really cool looking. Then I made Withered Freddy, the last of my Withered figures and not my last one, not two figure, but my last of the Withered figures. I actually like how he came out a lot. I basically have to put clay all over his body and stuff. Um, but yeah, he was pretty hard to make. 
I do think he came out really cool. Uh, came out really cool though. I do like how he came out. Although he is a bit messy and I didn't do that good on the paint job, but I do like him a lot. He's definitely my favorite favorite withered figure I've made. If you don't count Mangle as a withered figure, but I do think he came out really cool. Then I have my FNAF movie figures. I only made two of them. Um, I don't know why I didn't make Freddy and Bonnie or Spring Bonnie, but I just made these two. And I think they came out really cool looking. I really like how they came out, especially Foxy. I think he came out amazing. Chica's did came out pretty cool looking, but her face is kind of bad. But I do like her bib. Her bib is actually made out of paper too. But yeah, I think these came out amazing. Next, we have my Mangle figure. I think this one came out really good. Definitely one of my favorite customs, if not my favorite one that I've made so far. Actually, I wouldn't say my favorite, but it's definitely one of my best customs, if not my best custom. I just really like how it came out. I think it came out amazing. I'm really glad I put it on the eyelashes and made it look, look a lot better. And I sculpted this endo head, by the way. Yes, I do not know how I did it, but uh, I did do it. I sculpted this whole head. But yeah, she was very hard to make but it was very fun to make her as well. Next, we have my Molten Freddy figure. Now, my Molten Freddy figure I like a lot. I do like Molten Freddy a bunch. I really like FNAF 6 characters, designs, and all that. Molten Freddy, I feel like he came out really good. I was, it was super hard to make him because, I mean, how can you make a figure, like a Molten Freddy figure look like, and actually make it look really cool looking and stuff. That's kind of what I tried doing. And yeah, he does have articulation. So it's like the same for each arm. He has a hinge there. It's kind of falling off right now though. Uh, he has a ball joint on each of his hands. This one can turn. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to use this one. Joints are a bit wonky, but like see how he can move his hand. There's the joint under there. Um, I added all the eyes on. Here is how he looks like from behind. But yeah, his face, I made out of a bunch of little tiny clay pieces. And I think he came out amazing. I really like how he came out. Next, I made Carney from FNAF Hope Wanted 2. And you might be wondering where his hand is. His hand I do have still. It's just the joint cracked on it, so I have to fix that. So obviously I'm not gonna put it in here because, you know, the joint cracked on it. But here he is. I think he came out really cool. I used the Rockstar Freddy figure for him and I just sculpted on his like vest. I think he came out really cool. And also I used Posca markers all, a lot on him and I think his eyes came out amazing. Like his eyes just look so good. Next, I made Ruin Glamrock Chica. She came out, oh my, how do I keep flicking off the joints? Now, she may just be my best Ruin figure that I've made, or best security breach figure that I've made, I don't know. I think she came out really cool looking. I did a great job on her, but uh, yeah, I think I, I did a really good job on uh, Ruin Chica. She doesn't have articulation though in this leg. Well, she has it on her thigh, just not at her knee. And also this arm I made out of a bunch of Lego pieces, by the way. Also her head, I completely sculpted it. So yeah, this was very hard to make her head. I'm gonna do all these guys in the same like little thing. But yeah, here is the fixed Nightmare animatronics. I really like how these came out. I really enjoy uh, making these customs. I think they came out really cool looking. And yeah, I basically used bootleg Nightmare figures to make them. And then I put a bunch of clay over them to fix them and then just painted them. So yeah, they look really cool in my opinion. Um, although their their what clay or whatever is chipping off, uh, so that that's a shame. Bonnie's looking the worst here. He definitely isn't the worst figure. Freddy's my least favorite. I don't think he looks that good, honestly. But uh, Bonnie's like clay is chipping off a bunch. Uh, Foxy over here is actually doing pretty cool, and so is uh, so is Chica. So at least they're doing pretty good. And so is uh, Freddy too. But yeah, I think they all came out really cool looking. I really like them. Now, I'm not gonna move them because I don't want anything to happen to them. They're really fragile, so. All right, then we have my newest figures, which are my Rockstar Bonnie figure and my Rockstar Chica. I think they came out really cool looking other than Rockstar Chica, I don't know. She's kind of mixed with me, I don't know, because I do like how she came out, but at the same time, she doesn't look that accurate to how she does in the game. But Rockstar Bonnie, I think, came out really cool. My main focus with these two was to make them look like Fun how like Funko were to make them. And I think I nailed that perfectly with Bonnie, like from afar. He actually looks like a Funko Rockstar Bonnie figure, just with Chica, I kind of failed it. But 
C was super hard, super hard to make. I haven't seen anyone else do a better job, so using a Funko figure, of course. But yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. Uh, those were all 50 of my custom figures that I've made in the past couple of years. Um, yeah, th so that's my action figure collection. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. And thank you so much for watching to the end. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It, it will help me out a lot. So anyways, peace out, guys. Hey, 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 hey.